my beautiful viewers on my channel, James Higgins Open World. Well, it's uh, it's quarter past the twelve, Saturday morning. Uh, I just thought I'd tell you a bit more about myself, a little ch chit chat again, uh, and uh, how this channel began a little. I think I may have said it on uh, another video, but I'll just quickly recap and tell you a few more things about myself. Well, the, the channel, this how the whole thing got, got started was uh, I was in Truro uh, bus station in Cornwall uh, waiting for the bus to <coughs> to hail in Cornwall to stay at my friends uh, Pauline uh, Ellis at the Mad Hatter Tea Room in Cornwall in Hale in Cornwall. Uh, I was staying there. Uh, t took a few videos, uploaded them to uh, Facebook. And that's how it got started. It all started on Facebook. And then I learned how to upload to YouTube. And here we are. All these videos later. And 192 subscribers. So big thumbs, big thank you to all of you. Uh, I'll tell you a bit. I want to tell you a bit more about myself. Uh, things about my life. Uh, well, when I was younger, I used to, I tried fishing uh, with my brother. Uh, uh Bit boring, I thought, to be honest. Uh, I fell in the river with my brother and his friends. Uh, I spent more time eating the food in in the the box than uh, fishing. Tried night fishing with the little light, you know, doing that. <laughs> Tried that. Caught a few fish. It just didn't take with me, to be honest with you, at all. Didn't take with me. Uh, what else? I used to roller skate. Yep, I did. Used to go roller skating. Uh, I, I think I got into that from the film uh, Xanadu with Olivia Newton Johnny. And the sat the uh, Electric Light Orchestra soundtrack, the film Xanadu. Yeah, I used to like that, to be honest. A bit of uh, roller skating, because it was roller skating in the film Xanadu. You should watch it. Uh, March out of 10 for Xanadu. Uh, I'd say it was a good 8 out of 10. To be honest with you, Xanadu, I've got it. It's a good film, good film, good soundtrack. Uh, what else? Just one second. What else? Uh, well, like I said, the channel started it, getting back. Channel started in Cornwall. I love Cornwall. First time I went to Cornwall was 2004. I went on the National Express. Uh, I left crew at uh, half ten in the morning. I didn't get into uh, set Penzance until nine o'clock at night. It was horrendous. It was absolutely horrendous. And my dad and my brother met me at the other end. Uh, I was camping. I stayed with my dad a few nights as well. I stayed there a week in uh, two in ninety four. Uh, went to uh, Saint Michael's Mount with my dad. Uh, uh, my dad's passed away now. Uh, may God rest his soul. Uh, my parents have all gone now. Uh, yeah, uh, so did that. I love Cornwall. I love Penzance. Uh, what else? Uh, been the Eden Project a few times. Uh, oh, I love absolutely love Cornwall. It's, it's great. Uh, yeah, I've been down on the train and I've flown down a few times as well from Manchester Airport. Uh, yeah, I went last year. Flew down uh, last year for two weeks. You saw some of my videos. You know, on here, you've seen them, yeah. Absolutely love Cornwall. Love it. Uh, what uh, What else? Uh, just one second. Uh, loved, loved Chris, Christmas. Loved Christmas when I was going on. I had some amazing Christmases. Love Christmas. Uh, what else? Uh, remember Porridge on at Christmas? I've got them on DVD now, Porridge. Yeah. Remember that? That was good. Uh, what else? Uh, been camping, been camping a few times. I've been there, uh, went down to Brighton, first time I ever went away on my own anywhere in uh, 93. Yeah, Stayed, camped in Brighton because my favorite film is Quadrophenia. So, yeah, camped there. Uh, camped in New Haven uh, by the ferry port, the ferry that goes to Dieppe. Camped there. Then I went up to Beachy Head. Uh, uh, and then I camped uh, 
at the Seven Sisters once. This beautiful little campsite there, camp there, which was nice. Uh, I'm going camping again, there'll be a video on here. Uh, obviously, it's all dependent on what's going on with this virus stuff, doesn't it? You know, I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's, what's, you know, it's what the government says. You just follow what the government says, don't you? You know, uh, with that. And God bless to everyone and take care of everybody with that with that one. Everybody, take care. And uh, may it, the people who've died rest in peace, in eternal peace. God bless. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, I love Blackpool as well. I love going to Blackpool. love roller coasters. I go with my mate Dave. Uh, my roller coaster mate, yeah. Me and him go. We've been to Blackpool and... Uh, uh, little mention for you there, Dave. Uh, went down to London, to the Winter Wonderland, uh, like the other year as, as well. That was nice. As you saw the videos, you know, me dancing, Woo get in there, you know, doing that. Uh, well, uh, all the towers a few times, I lost a hat on the Oblivion. Uh, this hat I had fell into the bloody hole, didn't it? Yeah, uh. I go on the Bolivian on the I mean, virtual reality PS4 sometimes, the virtual reality version of it. You know, yeah. Uh, what else? What else? Uh, oh, Scale Electric. That's another thing I do love. Scale Electric, yeah. You used to have that when I was a kid. Love Scale Electric. They've got the digital ones now, which are great, which where you can play on your own. Uh, amazing today, technology. Amazing. Uh, what else? Uh, just one second. Here's another little story as well. Uh, I remember going fishing. We're getting back to fishing with my brother in his car. And uh, my brother's mate, Alan. He's dead now, Alan. Uh, and uh, my brother was driving his car. And uh, Alan, being Alan, uh, said, uh, give me this stink bomb to let off in the back of the car. So I did that. Oof. Yeah, stink bomb let off. <laughs> And my brother drove that car, I'll never know. Christ. Never, oh, oh, yeah, he was wild down, but he's, God rest his soul. Yeah, God rest his soul. Uh, yeah, uh, what else? Uh, fly, fly for flown quadcopters. I've got a quadcopter. I've got the, the Latrax alias, uh, which is a good quadcopter. Got that. Uh fire them i've not flown it for ages but i've got, I've got it a big one i had a big one like that uh you could put a gopro on but i had a cheap gopro there uh, on it but uh i sold that uh i got more fun out of the retracts alias to be perfectly honest with you you know i remember flying it on where we used to live and uh, the woman down the road thought it was a ufo because you had this little light bar and it had a camera so you could put the light bar on or the camera you couldn't have them both on at the same time and it did look like a ufo it was fantastic, it was. Still got it. And you could drive over the Latrax Alias with a, a bicycle. And it and it was still... It's that robust. Yeah. Easy to maintain as well. The, the motors and stuff. Yeah. I just need to get some new batteries for it. Uh, you have to get it from America. But, you know. Yeah, so... Uh, yeah. Uh, what else? Uh, just one second. Here's uh, another couple of things that happened to me when I was growing up. Uh, remember, uh, I was going to the, a local pub uh, and the car must have hit, I don't know if it was a street light or one of these signs and it was sort of like leaning that like out, you know. And I'm there on my bicycle, riding on the pavement, which I shouldn't have been doing, and I hit it in my face. Christ, bloody, oh man, hurt like hell. <laughs> Didn't break my nose or anything, but it bloody hurt, you know. You know, and then when I was a kid, it must have been nine or ten. Uh, I'd run into a lamp post, and uh, a lot of the lads would have laughed the bloody head off. This lamp post had like uh, stones up at it. Oh man, yeah. And there was a guy on the, on the estate I lived on. He, he uh, uh this is a true story. I might have told you this. I don't know who did, but it's a true story. Uh, on the, the council estate he used to live on. Uh, uh, had his uh, house wired up to the street like yeah the true story that yeah yep can you believe it <laughs> <laughs> yeah his house wired up to the street like fuck it sorry 
Anyway, that's nice talking to you. So uh, just hope you enjoyed that. And uh, be safe, everyone. Take care. Wash your hands and do everything the government tells you with this virus stuff. And take care. God bless you all. I love you all. Uh, and I'll be making making many more videos uh, to keep us all entertained in this crisis. So God bless everybody. Take care. Wash your hands. Uh, and don't panic by. Think about the elderly. Thank you very much. Bye.